What's up, everybody? This is Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell. I am the innovator, the emancipator, the originator, Jesse Mitchell. What's up everybody, welcome to Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell I am the innovator, the emancipator, the originator, Jesse Mitchell As always, my co-host, Miss Angel B Yo Tits McGee, yes, as sir. I call her <laughs> Jukes <laughs> And my man Carolina Plug in the building today how we doing today, guys? Yes, sir. You need that merch done, baby. Them shirts, whatever. He hooks it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. He came yes. straight in from Raleigh today to be with us today. A little late, but we're here, man. Hey, we going to get it popping, hey. That's here. all that matters. The show will go on. If you ain't from North Carolina, know about Raleigh traffic. Sheesh. Man, come on, man. You be on 40 all day long, stuck, bro. <laughs> on top of each other, but I'm talking about, man, hey. Literally. I don't know if it's the traffic or people just can't drive. Fact. Sure. Fact. Probably a combination of both. <laughs> Carolina life. <laughs> but so you make the shirts, the merch. What's up? Talk to me. What do you do? All right. So a little, a little bit about the merch. Um, I don't actually make it because I ain't that nice. Okay. Um, okay. But um, this ain't the shirts that flap in the wind. Uh, we actually have tags and logos that make sure that you're verified by us. Oh. If you don't have a certain... Official like a referee shirt, with a whistle. This, you did not get this from Carolina Plug. A little bit about Carolina Plug. So we just started re here recently, about two months ago. The goal of it, or if you want to say um, our aim is if you represent the state of Carolina, if you like the University of Carolina, Carolina University, or if you feel like you're a person... We don't do that here. We are definitely Duke fans. Absolutely. I, I am a, I'm, I'm a businessman. Up top. Well. <laughs> my, my. Now, my Got friend, it tatted on my chest. This right here. Oh, come on. It's on so, my chest. Let me pull my shirt up on my chest. Now, Duke <laughs> all day long, baby. So, yeah, so, Coach K, we love you, baby. We know you're on your way out. The death. Man, it's a tough way to go out. Yeah, way. but hey, we love you still, brother. Appreciate um, all you get for us all the years, baby. So, if you, if you feel like you're a plug for the person beside you, meaning... Um, you bring them energy, you bring them life. You're not a Debbie Downer. You're a good friend. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't positivity. That's what Carolina Plug represents. So okay. if, you're, if those Motivate. three things is who you think you are, or you like for this uh, um, particular, this fits you perfect. So it's not only is it t-shirts. We do um, shirts and shorts. It will be apparel, keychain. Before you know it, man, I'm gonna be everywhere. Okay, that's I love it. Be apparel. I um, it. It's not like I say. This shirt on the back, I have the tag to show you how to wash it properly. Um, it's not it's uh, a special way you got to watch wash I, the shirt. I don't want you to you I, you can't mess it up. You can't call me and be like, "Hey man, this is not a good shirt." You didn't did you wash it properly? Next. What's the proper way to wash the shirt? So the, on my particular shirt, it's going to be you have to cold wash it and let it air dry. Do not mm, no dry. dry on high air and expect for a good shirt to go from you're going to get a large to a small. It's going to shrink. It's going it's real cotton. Okay. Um, and that's all y'all have, Scott. Y'all don't do polyester, uh, no dry fit, no... Work, see, we're working. No rayon, no, no nothing. No, depending no, on nothing. what the people want. For right now, we are 100% cotton. And like I said, the shirt is a Carolina plug shirt. It's not Hanes. It's not uh, Gildy. You are who you are. You got your own brand. This is what I am who I am. Yeah, yeah, that's how straight <laughs> no chase like to be. That's Thanks. Right. Which yeah. I'm, I'm seeing what's going on. Oh, you know we do a little something up here too. Now, we got the merch. We got the merch. The merch is available, baby. We got clocks. We got we got cups coming. We got watches coming. We got lighters. We got all the apparel coming. We going global, baby. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you said that. Um, I see you play ball. I'm actually hosting a uh, a tournament here in, on the 21st of August. I'm putting together. It's, uh, okay. Either three to three fifty a team getting together because I want to see how much I'm gonna pay the refs. Because if there's no black and whites there, it's not official. Got to have the so, referees. Three to three fifty. Stealing money. A team, but you're here to win 1500 to two bands. I've not set everything in stone, but mm. it will be between 1500 and two bands winning. I need eight teams, maybe three to three fifty. I'm gonna go teams. live in a minute. You got to repeat that. Yes, they're sir. Gonna, they're gonna want yes, parts sir. of that. So, one day tournament, you get it, get in, get out, get your mm. money, go home. I'm gonna have cachet. One day, Carolina plugs. Where's it gonna be located? Benson, North Carolina. It's gonna be in Benson. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. with well, that, I definitely, uh, I definitely pull up a support if I don't play. 
I definitely yeah. I, I will definitely not be playing. Pull up to support. Yeah. Oh shit! I might step on in there now. You know? The reason why I'm, I, I, hey, the reason why I'm not, I'm not saying I can't. I'm just not going to play kill for. Them. They know what it is. You can't have your team and be a part of it. They'll still be the whistles when I come. Is that him? Is that him? Is he having any discrepancies? Is he going to play? Damn! Is he playing? What's he going to do? Is that They'll be the whistles when I come in. I don't think it won't be. The whistles. <laughs> Okay, well that's definitely we got the damn uh, like I said, you got to revisit that in a minute. No okay, problem, and how I love they, your shirt. I love your shirt. So how do they? Uh, they coming out right now. They just how do people reach you or contact you? They want to get in touch with you about so the merch. They want to buy your stuff. Facebook phone number, everything. So Instagram is Carolina oh. underscore plug underscore merch, um, and the Facebook is uh, same. The we also are doing. I also sell dogs. So Carolina oh. plug dog the puppies. Yeah. Um, I'm. I try to do it all. Anything the legal get a dollar. Carolina How much the dollars going for? So we got them. Still. Right now, I have pups on the ground. Obviously, I have two lilac tries available. Papers in hand. They're going for two k. Two males, and then I have a litter coming up in about two to three weeks. It's uh dad is a blue blue try. Mom's a chocolate try. So we got some fruity pebbles on the ground coming. Mm, yes, okay. I love it. Not the fruity pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> fruity pebbles okay. Coming. They're going okay. in from two thousand to twenty five hundred with the paperwork. Fishing. We love it. We actually had someone on here that, um, you know, did the whole dog, you know, purchase and selling thing. So shout out to Pre Yeah. Okay. Then. I think I need to tap in with. That's what's she up. got the bull, English bulldog that she said she had. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. So, okay, I'm glad you said Legit, that. too. I seen them, too. Legit. Uh, they official, too. We're doing Frenchies and XL and standard um, American bullies. They all registered through ABKC. Okay, okay. So, I have one question. Mm -hmm. What made you come up with the whole Carolina plug? Because I love it. Like, I could literally see a child saying, hey, I want to be a Carolina plug. Because a Carolina plug can be anything. Anything. You can be a plumber. Thanks. I'm um, the plug. Don't limit yourself, Chilla. Kitties. That's right. <laughs> what made me think of that? That's actually a good question. Um, Because I'm a diehard Duke fan. So anything Carolina to me hurts. <laughs> but I don't even wear Carolina blue. Won't buy that. <laughs> I refuse. So we only we don't even have Carolina blue as a um, a color in the frame yet. No, it's coming because I'm a businessman to say I gotta. It's not. It's not about me. The business is about y'all. Gotcha. So if it not was on my based watch. on me, <laughs> not up in here. If it was based on me paying myself. Then of course we'll have nothing but Duke colors, but right now Duke colors, but right now we're we're tending to the people. So, um, but to answer your question, it's I'm big on marketing, and it's hard to market something that's not relatable to the people. Okay. So, you know, Carolina is where we're from and where we are. If you're here, now nah, we're all over the world. So whoever, everybody in the world is listening, but we're currently in Carolina. So, and this is a prominent state. Like, you know, we just we got players that just want to. NBA Finals. We yes. got people that's doing stuff for North Carolina. Shout out, PJ. It's nice to be from North Carolina right now. Mr. Tucker. Okay. We got Thanks. some of the best basketball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Colleges. Yeah. You going to parade to have a PJ? You know, I'm going to try to check it out. I'm going to doing something that got something to do with some money. And then I'm yeah. definitely going to be there. I might slide. Yeah, I don't think I might slide and get in the mix for it, see what's going hey, on. Shout out, it, Riley. That's, that's, I mean, yeah, you know, they're going to do it big. Why not? You know. That's big. He got the chip, bringing it back home. I'm surprised you ain't got no connections to him, man, because in the backstage or something. <laughs> you know, I got, you know, I got, I got a little bit of sway in the building. You know what I mean? I know, I know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Know somebody. Know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he went to school with my lady and her sister, though. So mm. I actually do know him, kind of. They know him. So, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to see what's up, you know. <laughs> you know, I need my... uh. My VFX. <laughs> That's how I like to be. Now you know yeah, they say you gonna always see me somewhere, whether it's in the cut or what. <laughs> you are gonna see Jesse though somewhere. That's facts. That tour buses and all. I don't seen it. This fool with hey. J Cole everywhere. Like, hey. I don't seen it. I will have my. I will. I, I need my VIP. Shout out Cole. <laughs> we still gonna bring you in here too. Yes. Call me back. You get Cole. That's amazing. <laughs> If he called me back, monumental. <laughs> no, no, he he called me back, but he take forever. Sometimes, sometimes, but sometimes now he answer right up. And he be like, "What up, fam?" And then sometimes he call me back two weeks later, <laughs> three weeks later. But he gonna talk about what I hit him about. <laughs> Yo, man, so 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 that was three weeks ago, man. <laughs> but you know, hey, he's the biggest rapper in the world. And he yes. still takes time to reach out Shout to his friends. So I love you, brother. Don't yes. think I'm saying nothing bad. Was y'all playing basketball or something? You know, all the time. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> slight things, slight words. Do whatever. You know, it's Jesse Mitchell. You never know what you might see with him. Shout out to him, man. I'm kind I'm of a big deal. It is, definitely, it is definitely straight, no chasing. People know me. Yes, people, people like everybody. Me. 
Literally. L- little Ron Burgundy for you. <laughs> little Burgundy. Alright, I've been uh, seeing this. Po- we're gonna touch on this first topic. We're gonna touch on the day. This uh, the father, the child having the father's name. Now, I've been seeing this going around. A lot of people been very opinionated about this subject. So you know, the girl posted the casual sex captain. It's her name. Okay. Now, what that means, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think they heard you, Jeff. I'm, ve- uh, I'm very intrigued by it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, the casual sex captain. Now. I guess she's El Capitan. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Anybody now, from a, from a, a, a little profile picture, I see she don't look too bad. So, I don't know. I might not be in mind taking orders from the cat. <laughs> but, that's neither here nor there. We ain't gonna get into that right now. Is it a self-proclaimed lame or a dish? I mean, I was, this, is a, this is the name she got online, I guess. Mm. So, you know. She but she says, she if we not married, why would I give a child I cared for nine months your last name? Why? Question mark. How? Question mark. Hmm. Okay, so Keisha BG, who also doesn't look too bad herself, Keisha. Mm-hmm. If you want to reach out, you know, straight, no chase. You know, but <laughs> neither here nor there. Back to the point. Uh, she responds. She says, "If we're not married, comma, it's my child, and I don't have to give my my child that I cared for nine months the last name of a man who ain't my husband. He's just a father, and there's no long t- no long ties to him." Even if we're married, I don't need to give my kids husband last name. It's 2021. Hmm. Can I speak? So, go ahead and talk to me. Speak. Well, I feel like it's inconsiderate because you lay down with this man and you do understand that that child doesn't solely belong to you. Without his sperm, the child will never be. Um, to, to, to just be honest, that's number one. And then number two, I honestly feel like I'm choicy. So, when it comes to girls, you know, their last name is going to change, obviously. Hey. Their last name is going to change, obviously, when they get married. So, when it comes to our boys, we definitely want them to carry on the legacy. So, why not give them their father's last name? Um, that's just my take on it. I think women think too deep about it. Because if he's if, if, if he's important enough for you to lay down with and let him come in you, baby, then uh, let that man... Not to come in you. Let him come. See you well. Uh, not the calm all opinion. All that, all that. <laughs> not deep and opinion. And I feel like you know you should be open to whatever it is that man has to say. Compromise. You carrying the baby, but again, without his sperm and without his work, baby wouldn't be. That's how I feel. Uh, yeah, you got to get the baby, man. That's, that's, that's that man's son too. How you gonna have to get that man his son last, uh, child last I mean, name? Like man last name. Junior, you know. I mean, they like hell. If you ain't, I guess I they saying the, if you ain't married me. Thing. I don't do the uh, married or not. Shout out, Will. What up, fam? I don't do the junior thing. You don't do the junior thing. I definitely. Don't. Why you don't do the junior thing? Because I mean, it, it again. I ain't even gonna put myself in that equation, but I'm just saying it, it all depends on who you with. What if that person you with got hella felonies and their name is just fucked up by itself? Like, bitch, my son would never be a fucking junior. Like, it, why you have a baby with him? Be all, be all, be all that that's fucked what up. I said. That's why I said I want to make it personal. The dick was good enough for you for you to get it. But so. that's what I'm saying. I don't want to make it personal. But the typical average female <laughs> okay, is gonna then. fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Without figuring out who the fuck she fucking with. Okay then. And by the time she find out this nigga name fucked, up, this guy's name is fucked up. That's what y'all, so that, y'all just slinging monkey everywhere. Just fuck it, huh? Well, most of them are. Just, just, just fuck it. Just, for me, just, just for releasing me, monkey, yeah. For me personally, everything is transactional. Period. That's all I got to say. That's transactional? That's straight no chase. God, <laughs> not the funds can be rented. <laughs> the buns. <laughs> <Got that. laughs> Amen. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Some strange will look be strange. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Look at that. All right, all right. <laughs> this, is a, this is a crazy topic. So, uh, that's how you feel about that, brother. Toya, y'all, you can talk to me. What y'all feel? Oh, so, like I said, I feel like they, they should have the, uh, the daddy last name. You know what I mean? If he he dropped off in you, and you gonna want him to pay? Hey, I bet, I bet, I bet you gonna want that change from him. I don't give a damn if y'all married or not. You still gonna want them chips? I'm going to say like this. I got two girls, so... Um, you just tuning in. We talking about uh, the subject where the women saying that they don't, if they're not married to the man, that they don't have to get the baby his last name. So y'all comment in if y'all like on the live. I see you. Shout out to y'all tuning in. This with. is crazy because in a new day and age, of women want to be so independent. They forget that you need to. You can't have a baby by yourself. Nah. You can 
I mean, it's gonna cost you. How you gonna do that? You can. How you gonna bet by yourself? I mean, you have to go. This some new shit. Must be explain this to me. I mean, how you think two women have babies? Like they go to the doctor and they do all the extra shit. And they purchase sperm. Yeah, without the father ever being in the picture. But the father, he is in the picture because he had to come in that cup. What are you talking about? If he don't come in the cup, they sell the sperm. You ain't turkey basting the baby. But they sell the sperm. They don't give a fuck. They don't give it. Still, you still. So if they think about a check, if the man don't exist, how you get? the sperm. Robots do not create cum. <laughs> I'm just saying. As I sip on. <laughs> so, I'm going to say this. Um, again, it's a little extremely hard for me to understand that you want to discredit a person. Now, I get you might make terrible decisions and sleep it with a person that you didn't know who he was. Mm. And you learn down the line that he ain't what you thought he was. The bullshit. I learned this though. Everybody shows signs. You just gotta open your eyes and watch. There ain't nobody mistakenly just woke up and he started doing that. Nah. So my opinion, it's more if it's really about the children. Make it about you gonna them. respectfully not say do what's traditional because being marriage is a tradition. So if you're gonna follow suit and go with what it's being doing. That ain't our tradition, but it's a tradition. Exactly. Do you I didn't <laughs> Christianity is not our religion. We're going to accept it that we can't, you know. Well, I feel like, I feel like it also depends on what are the dynamics in your household as well. So, so if, if y'all have sex and then a man just completely left, then I feel like that's, that's less of a discussion because, uh, so I have my mother's last name. My dad really wasn't in the picture. For I have my mother's last name as well. And for me, I... I feel like it, it would have just been odd for me to have had my dad's last name and he he was never around. Facts. So so for me that that would I don't have fucking made know sense. you. If I feel like if he was way more intertwined in in our lives, I could see it and made sense. I feel like I would have had a real issue with with having his name and him never having been there. And there's no other person that there's definitely that a fact. See that Facts. Okay, let me, but to finish what I was saying, if you were totally doing this by yourself, women, then. By all means, but I'm talking about the women who just oh, pick every little thing to be mad about, and no, I shouldn't have gave that child his last name. Now, if your father was not there for you absolutely at all, and you can attest for not just because your mama told you, but you have experience of him not being there for you, then that don't change the fact he's your daddy though. That's still your pops, and he still had to had to come with your mama for you to be here. Regardless if he do nothing else for you. That, I mean, that's He fake. still gave you life. I don't care if he... Exactly. I don't right. care if he... That day you were born, he walked out of that room and said, forget them, I'm out. <laughs> he still yeah, but, gave you life. But from a woman's perspective... Go ahead. Because, so, you know, I'm finna go the fuck off. Go off. Go off. So, yes, he's not... I don't negate the fact that he's my dad. Like, he's... And like, hold up now. And this how many cousins, and this going from somebody who didn't grow up with a daddy. Who daddy left me, who left us, whatever, well, my, we ain't getting all that, but he got a whole other family. He don't even acknowledge us. You know what I'm saying? That's how I grew up. You, know, you dig what I'm saying? But go ahead. So, so I don't I don't negate that he's my dad, but when, when I see him, I, sometimes like it's, it's hard to pro- mentally process it because he's, he's never actually been there as a dad to call him dad, but, but as far as that, I just can't, I don't, it would have just been hard for me to, to just exist Except that. that. Just because, again, he's still my dad. He, like I look like him when I went to go see my grandmother for the first time in 18 yeah, years. You've seen it, you seen it right? Yeah, so I saw it. weird? Yeah, so I, so I, <laughs> I kind of like I look like both of my parents. But, but you know, I, I favor them, all of that good stuff. But it's just, it, it just really, it really depends on the, the, the dynamics. Okay. If, if, I, if, my, if I had a child and, and my baby's father is in my life and we're, we're having a discussion, I would nitpick about that. I'd Okay, all right. Be more open to it. Yeah, but, but just completely gone. You, 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 did you even help me pick the first I thing? Think, I think for me, I think for me, this um, topic definitely hit home, you know, because I don't deal with the fuck shit. Like, I'm just going to keep it a band. It's straight no chase. I'm going to be honest. I'm a single mother. Let me sip then. Of two children. Daddy lived two minutes away. Don't never come see his daughter. Up the road. Why you was on the road? Right. <laughs> other, other, other daddy live three hours away, but he travels. He got long money to travel. Never come see his son. To be honest with you, dudes like that, you don't deserve a goddamn thing, bitch. That's you don't exist. Like, I don't think these men really understand 
what the mothers have to deal with when they're asking why my daddy isn't here. But what do you, that, let's that, get into that. What do you have to deal with? That, with that? develops a, a insecurity in them to make them feel like, damn, what's wrong with me? And especially if they have other children involved. That, that, that's, not, that's not all the way true because I grew up okay. the same way. And well, I didn't I'm, grow, I didn't I'm, have I'm speaking personally. Like, but, I grew up without my father. My kids are growing up without their dads. And I grew up without my father, too. And I didn't grow up with no insecurities. So then that. there it goes. So then it's a percentage of those that experience different things on another level. So I feel like most children that grow up and feeling like that, they didn't receive those affirmations. A woman can never teach a man how to be a man. Really, because I'm not a man, I can't teach you something that I've never experienced or that I don't know. However, I can put you in a position to where you can learn from different things in life. You know, your uncles, you know, other people that's involved. But I say, fuck the bullshit. If you're not there, bitch, you don't deserve the last name. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. If you huh. are in a mix, then I'm able, I'm going to be more open to compromise. But point. if you just fucking... Shanice sure talking about facts. Ducking. I see you Shanice sure talking about facts. <laughs> no, for real. If you just fucking eating and ducking, nigga, I mean, do, then. <laughs> she didn't get all the way out of pocket. Then you need to keep it moving. You don't got no say so. Bitch, you don't exist. And that's that's just my take, and I'm going to leave it at that. It ain't got nothing else to say. The guns is drawn, and I ain't talking about sketch. <laughs> it's out there. There it is. Okay. I mean, I- Hey, she got some valid points. I ain't even gonna lie. Coming from I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like I coming, said, I dig it. Coming from a person, you know, my, I hope he one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, my mom did an amazing job with three kids. Absolutely. And Shout out to no Emma. No help. Um, Raised me up. Now, my mama could not teach me how to be a man, but she taught me respect. She taught me a lot of things that a woman could teach me. Now, my problem with my pops is. Um, personally, he's a sucker. Just, just man up. I mean, even if it's uncomfortable, don't mean shy away. I All day sucker ain't even a rap. I understand gym. completely where you know it's not easy for you to. You know, what I'm saying you sleeping around like she. What you say? I like what you said there. What you say? Sleeping. What you say? Sleeping. If you sleeping, if you fucking eating and ducking. Keep it moving. Why you got to do all that head moving when you say it? Because so, you, 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 so, you got to be so animated when you say it. I'm saying, I'm saying if, if you're doing that, you know what I mean, Then and a baby comes out of it, you got to do what you got to do, man. At the end of the day, they asked to be here. Now, honestly, you might not have had your stuff together in that part of life, and you didn't see how you was going to be there. What I don't understand is what did I do? Or what did you do or the next person do for them to just say, you know, I don't want to? That's the only question I want to answer. How could you live your life knowing that you left that child by themselves? Thanks. Him or her. That's just the only question I want to answer. Which goes back to you what the fuck and, I said. I, you know, People do crazy life, stuff all the time. Nah, that's you, question, you can't read what you're you know saying. Children but don't understand a, it. Even, if, it, even, no. if, it's, even no. if it's not a good answer, I want to hear what you got to say. What helped you live on with your life? It ain't even about me no more. I'm good. I'm grown. I so got you just want to know. You just want to ask what that, helped you live on with your life? I let all that go, man. I mean, it's shit. It's a healing process for sure. How I looked at it was... He ain't worried about me. He ain't losing no sleep That's thinking about fact. me. That's so me sitting here being upset and messing my life up and messing relationships up in my life because of beef I got with him or shit I'm holding on to with him and he ain't lost a wink of sleep about me. <laughs> that's that, that's how crazy on my part. But I think that comes so with nah. maturity and time. You gotta let that shit go. You can't you can't keep hold of that shit. He's, he's a you can't control people. Right. He's a person. He's not a machine. That's a fact. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So he gonna do what he wanna do. Sure. So you gotta let that. You gotta let that go. But a three year old is not gonna understand. Uh, that. Absolutely but you're not. Right. No, you're absolutely right. You right. No, no. And that comes with maturity and time. And he's Attention. definitely right. But you know, when it comes to these, children, you drive yourself crazy. Shit, they don't. And you drive yourself crazy. Uh, waiting for somebody and. Yearning oh, for somebody that? else's affection. <laughs> that, 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 that's that's unforced. Yeah, 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 you drive yourself crazy yeah, doing that. that. No, uh. Uh-uh. That's a fact. I love that. We did have a. <laughs> we had a for everybody has a moment. So I didn't have the moment where he said what I needed to say. But the moment for me was uh, I took a, a ex of mine to go for the first time to actually, um, I guess, hang with him. Mm-hmm. It was for my birthday, so I was like, I'm gonna go. So I go, and um, he said, "Why did I bring her?" <laughs> my girl, that, that's you. Yes. Right, right. She know more about me than you do. Yeah, right. you mean? Well, I bring her. Yeah, you my lady. So, yeah. 
And his home, his friend, I guess friend, I'm going to say friend, was like, I think he got more figured out than we do. We 50 still in the club, man. Damn. <laughs> God damn, that 50 still in the club. God damn, pops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He pimped it strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he might got a little figured out. That's my type of guy. That's my type of guy. We need to do it. We, obviously, we got it, we got it all wrong. <laughs> obviously. We still looking for a way. Apparently, he got right. one up in here. <laughs> Damn, 50 years to find that shit. <laughs> still ain't found it. I still ain't found it. You left me to find it. Still ain't found it. One kid. And then you, you're you there for more for the kid that's maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. They oh, love yeah. him, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, ain't, it ain't no. Oh, yeah. They I can do for you. I can do for you when I want to, but. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I ain't, I'm not worried about you at all. I don't even think about you. They love him. Yeah, whatever, yeah. They love him. I'll go down promoting this other one. I got him all putting his videos up, and I'm promoting him. I got him at chick camp, and <laughs> we're here together, there together. Yeah. This motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And he ain't half of what the other one is. But, hey, that's what you want to do. It yeah. ain't even half mine. It ain't mine. Yeah, I you want to you wanna, you wanna promote. That's the one you want to promote. Put your money behind your time behind. It's crazy. You bet on the wrong horse. Though. I just look like him. Yeah. And that'd be the sad part. You look just like him. <laughs> Everybody walk around the street. That you, Demar's son. Damn. Everybody know about you. <laughs> <laughs> everybody but him. Right? Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody but him. Everybody see you but me. You the only one that seen that don't seem to realize. Okay, huh? then. Hey, you see that? <laughs> just, 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 just seem to be baffled by. He was in town. Oh, dang. Didn't even know. Th- I swear. Ain't heard nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Come right in, right out, Save like you ain't nothing. Yeah. Small, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Next up, we gotta talk about this TV show uh, on BET Encore. Now they got me. These these, these twins. They got me so pissed off with them. <laughs> I might just go live and just just tear their asses down. What the fuck now. off, Jesse? Oh my God, yo. So <laughs> I don't know, if you're not familiar with the show Encore, it's a show on BET where uh, these girls from a lot of past girl groups get together. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna give y'all these. Exact, you know, I like to be official, like a referee with a whistle oh, on here. So I'm gonna get to you. Hold on, you know, I got my printouts and stuff. You know, so my screenshots. You no, know you got the facts. Got to have it. No, you got to be accurate. Now, your the accuracy. Is speaking, your accuracy. On Facebook is facts, but your accuracy is important. Now, okay. Now, BT presents the Encore is an American reality TV television series, which is produced by Kingdom Reign Entertainment for BT. The show chronicles nine former R&B girl group members. Now, nine. so this is what intrigued me to the show because. When I was seeing the previews, of course, you know, I'm 35, so I knew all the, all, all the groups were. But I'm like, how are y'all going to get all these girls on a song, or in a group to be on songs? Like, how many verses on these songs? <laughs> like, yeah, every song is how long, minute. how long are these tracks? Like, what's going on here? So yeah. I was intrigued to watch it just by that. So I watched the show. So now the show, uh, Show Chronicles, now I'm recording R&B groups, recording artists. As they form a super group to create an album within 30 days. Damn. So they got 30 days to create this album. And they put them in the house. Right? The series stars Shamari DeVoe. She was in black. That's Ronnie DeVoe's daughter. Okay. I mean, Ronnie DeVoe's wife. I'm sorry. I apologize, Ronnie. I shout out folks with Ronnie New Edition, baby. <laughs> uh, y'all know Ronnie DeVoe's from New Edition. Yes, and Bill Bill DeVoe. Yes, sir. Okay, that's his wife. You know, they used to do, if you have, y'all know if y'all seen, they do TikTok videos together. Then they got a song, a couple songs, a song together. They do a couple vi- a video together, but... They did some videos and stuff together though, but she uh, she was in Black. If y'all remember the group Black, yeah. Okay, she was one of the singers in that. So then you got the two sisters from Seven O Two, Irish and Lamisha Grinstead, or Grinstead. Y'all remember Seven O Two? Yes. Okay, you got those two girls, two sisters. <laughs> then you got Nivia. We all know Nivia. Yes. Shout out to Nivia. Nivia. I love you. Then you got uh, the two twins from Cherish, Fallon and Felicia hey, King. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. So you 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 remember Cheers? Yes. Okay, that was their song. Do it, do it, do yeah, it. Do it, do it. Hey, hey. Okay. Are y'all familiar? Are y'all familiar with Cheers? Yes. Okay. Okay. So those are the ones that it made me sick. I yeah 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 y'all y'all just, y'all just rubbed me the wrong way. Get the fuck. I, I'm just gonna tell it like it is. Oh, we're gonna get to that in a second. Though. Okay. So you got the twins, Fallon and Felicia. Then you got Pamela Long of Total. Pam from Total. Y'all remember Pam from right. Total, obviously. Shout Everybody. out to Pam. Shout out to Pam. Y'all know Pam, Pam. Total was dope. We like Total. <laughs> Danny Kane's Aubrey O'Day. Oh, shit. I remember Danny Kane now. Okay. I got Aubrey, you Aubrey from Danny Kane. Diddy P. And Diddy then do everybody dirty. Keely, oh, not Diddy. Come on. I did it in the fam. We know do it better. Don't do that. <laughs> then you got <laughs> Keely Williams from 3LW and the Cheetah Girls. 
Shout out to the Chitty Girls. The light skin girl. girl that blew up. The like Chitty Kirby. Girl made it yeah. up. Yeah. She was slim. I like, I like 3L. I like the, uh, I like the, uh, I like the um, what happened to 3LW? What is that? Where Cheetah's Well, 3LW, okay, we'll touch on that first. 3LW, they fell off, uh, got into it about, they fell out about whatever, but apparently 20 years ago, Keely Williams and Notori Norton, I think that's how you say her name. If y'all know who that is, that's the girl from, uh, she played in Power. She played the ghost wife in Power. Oh wow. God! Yeah, y'all remember that? Tasha, she, okay. Yeah, she played Tasha. She was that's, that's good. The black you girl. You know that? Girl. You fucking oh, right. Y'all ain't remember that? I remember that shit because <laughs> she the actually. The black girls. Yeah, she actually, ain't know that. But she actually no. posted a picture. I remember that shit. <laughs> Did they keep out the group or something? I don't fuck. They with got into it about something. And her girl threw some chicken at her. <laughs> so wait, hold on now. You got so, mad at the bird. She threw, yeah, she threw some, threw some chicken at her in a restaurant, and then they fell out, and it was a big, it was a big deal twenty years ago. Okay. So, and I know about all that because the girl Keely Williams brought it up on Encore. I was watching it and they had a little uh, spiritual treat building type thing where she uh, emptied the uh, chicken as her thing she needed to dump <laughs> well. or whatever. But the twins, Fallon and Felicia, they just got me sick because they acting like they just these big Grammy winning artists and they so they're, they're production and I'm just, I'm just like, they just run shit and like, who are you? Yeah. Like you had a little hit, cool. Well, we, they made we, we understand. Shit. We they understand. Made show. We respect that. We understand that. We understand you had a hit. We respect all of that. But y'all acting like 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 the other ladies in the house being very humble. They being very trying to be team oriented. Right, 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 right. They like nobody here is bigger than nobody else. Da, da, da. They acting like they bigger than people in the house. You right? Acting like they run shit. They to boss humble. bitches and. Uh, we heard yeah. shit from y'all. Hey man, people feel like and, and, and other chicks in the house like, well, I sold more records than y'all. People feel like they really doing good with their credit score up. So I mean, <laughs> I charge it to the game. They, yeah. When they get that seven fifty, everybody do. Everybody shit. the boss. They out of control. I'm talking just out of control, and I'm just like, <laughs> I get what you're saying. That all if really, you there, if you there, play your role, play your part. Because you first can, of all, you're here for a reason. You all y'all broke. Right. Let's be clear. I don't know if they, they broke, but what they, I mean by broke, their careers ain't popping. That's what I'm talking about right now. Okay? I'm talking about money flow. Yeah, careers ain't popping right now. If your info, so, if you know, your social got, media era, if you ain't popping, you broke. So they should be way more. They're way too arrogant and talking and this and be talking this slick, like slick, like they really just bought that. And so then, uh, oh girl, Arbor, she didn't left the house. She didn't had enough. She didn't left. Danny the King. She didn't had enough. She's she, like, she, you know what? Because they keep every time she say anything, they go at her. And she keep trying to give up critique and stuff. I'm like, yo, well, I sold my record. How we can make this shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, they keep wanting to go. She got sick of it. She's like, man, I don't need this shit. She left. Period. Bitch, I got my own name. So then, uh, you know went from that to now Nivea then got into it. Nivea was trying to be the peacekeeper. No, she the best one on the show, probably. Nivea was trying to be the peacekeeper. I'm like, yo, y'all doing too much. Y'all being negative. And y'all... And the little, the little twins just got a little attitude, little stank attitude the whole time. And shout out to Nipia, they got they trying to act like you know what I'm all standoffish. They got into it with Cosign, the producer. Shout out to Cosign. Yeah. Cosign was in there making a record. She, she went getting the Cosign because Cosign, they all was in there. Like we all in the studio now. Right. So they obviously they recorded multiple versions of the song. So he was trying to play a version that everybody was on so they could hear. Right. He played the version that one of the twins was singing. So. He cut it off. Oh, don't be cutting my damn tape off. Da, 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 da. That's disrespectful. That's you would have did that to no man. He's like, yo, it's the wrong version. Right. I'm just about to play the right version. Right. She went the fuck off. I'm talking, went the fuck, had a, had a big old That's conniption. That's pride. That's pride. Went the fuck off. I'm talking, had a big deal. Went up there and got a sister. Yeah. A sister tried to come down there. We don't, want, we don't have to, I don't need you produ producing none of my stuff. And da, 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 da. What? Is that serious? So he yeah. even went and brought, so he goes out and buys a basket, a flower basket, and got a card and everything. I'm sorry, da da da, you know what I'm saying? They still didn't want to do that. Now, nah, that's not enough. Da, da, and then uh, Keely Williams, her old uh, straddle the fence ass. Yeah, she trying to be piggyback off of them so much, trying to kiss their ass so much that she called herself uh, straddle the fence. And well, now nah, I don't I don't accept that because he still was chauvinistic. And so the rest of the girls is like, yo, he humbled himself. You know what I'm saying? He brought a whole, he went and got a whole basket of flowers for us and had a car. You know what I'm saying? We all bullshit. know in singing, the production is way more important than the singer in these yeah. days. You can sing half decent as long as the production good. I mean, Thanks. this and is I, true. I honestly feel like, bitch, know your lane, know your spot, know your position. What up, Rocky? What up, fam? At the end of the day, if you was brought in, obviously your career isn't doing very Subscribe well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, right. Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell. And you heard what said. Jesse said. Follow but, us on Apple Podcasts. He already Instagram, Spotify. What, what else? 
We mm-hmm. on air. But like I said before, like, you know, you got to know your position. You got to know your place. And if you don't know your place, you'll always speak out of turn. And that's all I got to say about it. That's very rude, very disrespectful. Like Period. And that's um, the end of it. <laughs> I ain't watched the show because I try to um, stay away from things that get me away. But it actually sounds like a show I need to get into because I know all these girls. But at the same time, they go off that. Know your role. Know your role. Know your oh, place. Oh, some of these, bro. You being arrogant, bitch. We heard no music from you <laughs> since ATL films. I mean, let's these, be clear. Is some of these issues a problem? Because, you know, the, the TV show needs, they're probably so boring. They need as much drama as they yeah, need just absolutely. to create a show. I mean, like I said, I actually enjoyed the show. It actually was pretty entertaining to me. But just the way them twins was at, it just had this was through me. Like, well, really? You like, know, some of these shows be scripted. Maybe they can talk really? into the, the animosity. The, 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 they're the brokest ones. I'm, However, we don't give a fuck. I, I don't even know we're what the audience, you're talking about. And we're the ones that's Well, she was talking. Apparently, my co knew the song, the chair, the do it, do it, do it, so. Do it, do it, do it, do it. We know that. But oh, how long ago? Uh, I was in oh, what? I ain't going to say what grade I was in. I was ah, in. I was, yo, that's still fresh out the nuts in. <laughs> I was definitely fresh. Fresh, smelling like baby milk on the dick, okay? I was definitely Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Whoa, Nivea on that song? But this is my no. thing. I respect Nivea what because is Nivea here? is well branded. Yeah. Nivea has chapstick that I do purchase. Okay? Nivea isn't just on the music shit, but she's actually like Carolina Plug. She's her plug wherever she is. Respect her. Bitch, she little Wayne, baby mama. That's respect out the gate. You feel me? Well, they weren't really disrespecting Nivea, yeah, so to speak. Did, uh, Nivea just got, she was just like, she ain't trying to deal with the negativity and shit. She trying to, she trying to make records. Y'all here trying to be, she trying to, like, trying to be like a, uh, just positive for the whole group. Out. And so then, uh, they kept going, kept going, kept going. And as she's trying to like, Tell everybody just chill out. They started making little slick comments and da 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 and well, sham da da da. She's like, man, you know what? Really she's like, you Nivea. know what? Fuck this. You know what I'm saying? I got time. They wasn't saying nothing to Nivea. <laughs> you keep saying that. They keep telling you they wasn't saying nothing to Nivea. They was talking to each other. So like right now, okay, so they wasn't. So like right now, y'all going back and forth with each other. I'm like, y'all need to chill out. You, you know what I'm saying? Look, stuff right here. We need to do this. We need to get together. And you still look, motherfucker. Da da. He's still saying shit as, on, as I'm no, talking. Going, okay. As I'm telling y'all, look, let's be positive. Don't do that. Da 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 da. We need to get this music out. And so after a while, I'm like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm saying, fuck it. Y'all do what y'all do. I'm out there. And she left. Damn, Damn so two girls left. Yeah, so they went. She, she went upstairs. They tried to talk to her. And she was like, she screamed on old girl Keely. She all scared in the wall now. <laughs> like a damn mannequin over there. <laughs> 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 then she got her shit and she left. And they was, well, we don't want Nivea to leave. She's one of the strongest voices. Thanks. And we acknowledge that. Da, 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 da. Now, after the fact, though. Right. You I didn't tell y'all to chill the fuck though. out. Yeah, I didn't tell y'all to chill the fuck out, and I don't do this. I don't do this negative energy. I don't do all this this bickering and back and forth. I don't work like this. You That's know not what I'm, what I'm here for. She I'm, understood her assignment. You got shit going, stuff going on. Yeah, and but I love it. Big twins big didn't rub me the wrong way. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I, I just, y'all just, 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 just disgusted me. I, that them <laughs> attitudes, y'all, them arrogant attitude, like y'all entitled to something, like. Y'all these big, like y'all uh, Patty LaBelle or somebody. I don't know who y'all think, who the fool y'all, but. They ain't got no pies. They Check just... again. <laughs> Try y'all getting by the side. And we're going to commercial break on that one. Oh my God, this is the best cookie I've ever had, y'all. Girl, you must be crazy. Oh my, that's actually the name of the company. Crazy Cookies, try one. It's good, right? Man, <laughs> I'm t- hey, I don't know what you've been doing or how you've been living. But if you ain't had one of these crazy cookies, you ain't even living right. Ass straight, no chase. Delicious. <laughs> this episode of Straight No Chase was sponsored in part by Crazy Cookies. To get your crazy cookies, dial 910-747-4148 or email us at crazycookies910 at gmail.com. Welcome back. Straight No Chase, we're back here. Next up, we got to touch on this Dr. Dre divorce settlement. Mm. Yeah. Hey, boy, yeah, I you, heard about that one. You know what to talk about, don't you? <laughs> hey, man, well, you know, I, I, I have a little neck, they say. That's what they say now. I don't say it now. That's what they say. Cut it out, Jay. It ain't me now. I'm telling you, that's what they say now. Now, now this Dr. Dre situation oh, is... $3 million a year. 300000 Golly. But how much is it a year? A month. How that's a month. So year, that's about $3 million a year. Hey, listen. Okay, I, I, I mean, you know, math ain't been my strong point, Listen. But, I can do I'm just basic math. I'm trying man. to understand 
When I, I commented on this because. Mm hmm. It's gotta be nice to be a female. Well, hold on. We'll, we'll get into. Let me get okay. people. Let me get people the backstory. Some people might not be familiar with the backstory. Right, right, right. So you know, here on straight, no chase. We got to give you the facts and get it to right. You first. <laughs> so we're gonna bring it to you how it is. Now, okay. According to reports, Dr. Dre has allegedly been ordered to pay his ex-wife two hundred ninety-three thousand three hundred and six dollars per month God. in spousal support. The payment must be made on the first of every month. <laughs> You heard what the fuck they said. And she will receive the support from Dr. Dre until she remarries, enters a, another domestic partnership, or dies. Domestic. <laughs> or dies. Either Damn. Dr. Dre or her. So as long as they alive, he got to pay her. So Damn. you telling me I got to pay her until she finds another man? Until she uh, gets in a domestic Let's partnership Listen, or gets married. What female in her mind finna lose 300000 Absolutely. I'm single for, for the rest of my man. life. A month. You just made it to where she ain't going to never Now, Dr. Dre is a billionaire. I'm not remarrying. So, you know. Enough. That is a drop in the bucket for him because he's oh, a billionaire. Okay. But still. Was, ain't no drop in the 300,000, 300,000. A month. Just, you're not working. No. You, you just, listen. Okay, all right. Now, the reason why she gets his money is because of the type of lifestyle she lived up until this fella, uh, ladies Fast. and gentlemen. She didn't write the grunt. What works is if you marry or you she give somebody with a lot of money and they give you a life. She ain't produced two pups. Over a series of, you know, however long y'all been together, you're entitled to a certain lifestyle. She can't so rap. This is what I was saying Dang before. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't in shooting in the gym. She can't rap. She can't sing. She, can't she didn't rap. know him when he was not, when he was in the base. You know, oh, I mean, just, shout I out to Chappelle. I just want to say this though: like, when does having good pussy allow you to three hundred thousand dollars a month? When that's a that's a that's Dr. a magical Dre. monkey. I tell you that. When you fuck with Doctor Dre, shit. Because he not, obviously not gonna be with a woman that doesn't have any magical cookies. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. a lot of cookies out here. He gonna give us something simple. It's got to be extravagant. But I'm just saying, like. I feel like fuck if it's Yo, extravagant. It's the, so the image is everything. You telling me I can just meet the right man, and just because I don't no longer happy, I can get three hundred thousand. Three hundred G's a month. Three hundred G's a month. I'm trying to find me a Dr. Dre right a now. Monthly. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. So can we go find us? Hey, ladies, I sling that wood, good wood to I'm you now. My, I pay, <laughs> listen. I clean the house The wood will be slung <laughs> Your food will be cooked When you get home Hey just cut me the check Baby hey, You ain't gotta worry about that But well, see the problem is If we do that They ain't gonna leave us Well See Us as men If we ain't happy We ain't okay What are we getting Now that's why You need to say that shit again And put the mic close Listen I say I'm a man we, if we ain't had one care how much we get. Even if you is happy, it be a, you won't We can be an inch of happiness. <laughs> well, we not be, you're not made to be one person. Well, it's hard. First of all, man is here to populate the planet. How you going to populate the planet with one person? That's right. You can. We doing ancestral or what's happening here? <laughs> okay, secondly, you're hitting it on we, the head. we from Africa. You're hitting it on the head. Our descendants aren't monogamous. What are monogamous? Speak. All over, uh, Bernie Mac told y'all in Players Club. Titties, <laughs> ass, <laughs> all the public heads. What's up? Come on now. That is funny. That's where we come from now. Don't do that now. Titties and ass, shout out to Bernie Mac. We love you, RP. I about to say he's dead, man. I know. <laughs> hey, don't shout out for that, baby. Let's go. We love this you. This is tough, we though, man. Three hundred k, three hundred G's a month. And you met this man when he was only rich. Like I said, she ain't produced a damn thing on the chronic. Nothing. Not who a made one. that song, This Is A Man's World? And I don't even think it was a man's world. What you mean, who, girl? Yeah. Don't, don't disrespect, now. I'm just saying. They, that's just I'm JB, just saying, now. Come it's, on, it's now. It's a woman's world at this point. They gonna copy James Brown I mean, moves to the sunburn out. That's what he told you. Come on, now. They gonna copy James Brown to the end. It's a woman's world at this point. Oh God no! I girl, it, stop! It sounds like if you that's, just, I mean, that's what it sounds like. Well, I'm gonna just be honest. It sounds like shit. if you were just a good lady. That's because they saying y'all can't take care of yourself. You, you got to pay. And, and that's and that be my thing though. Like even when it, and I have a problem with it as a woman because you know men are put in you know such a great stereotype. It's not even funny. Like even when it comes to child support. They they more so ready to rule off what the woman say than what the man say. He could be a good ass father, but hey. They gonna believe what the fuck the mama say. That's just how the that's how this court system yeah. is built. Sometimes the mama don't be worth a shit. And don't be worth a damn. But because she a woman and she got that monkey. Yeah. That's right. 
Oh that's, my gosh, she just hit it on the head. She gets all the autonomy. Be, oh, he don't do this, do that, and the third. But drinking a Hennessy, smoking weed. Come on, man. lace front. But swear to God, lace fronts every weekend. Getting blushed by every time, she's Dick and only, Harry. She's with a few dollars and a few nickels in his pocket. She's only upset because she can't go to the club. She's not upset, really, about the children. She's not upset about the She want to shake time. that ass. She just want to go twerk <laughs> and be like everybody else. show that lace front as she pays it for so, That's it. And the nails. She nailed it. Listen, only, I'm only saying this. If you a female oh, and you, if you not really getting to a bag, if you not really getting to a bag, it's hard. She and you know a man that is, it's hard to damn for you to just move the way y'all moving, man. Y'all move real reckless. Oh, you, oh, you got to tell them. They move. I'm just saying. Babyface messing up all the broke brothers back in the day. Just bust Shout out to Babyface. You messing up all the broke brothers. Who really is I'll really trying to provide, really oh, trying to do something. As soon as I get home from work. <laughs> Ain't, no, ain't nobody doing that shit. Listen, you can get Baby a mob, you, you can get with a Merc mob dude, or you can find somebody over here on the uh, good side of town. Now, every man ain't perfect, but I'm saying you got a Merc mob for that's walking. As long walking. as he's slinging that good wood, baby, listen. Uh, sir, good I wood don't pay the bills, and, you, and, you, and I nun chucks. But I need you to pay what the fuck you got to pay. <laughs> good wood don't pay the bills. <laughs> Pussy don't get wet until the bill get paid. Oh God. <laughs> that's some straight no chase. I'm just be honest. Yeah, shit. What Rick Rock money made me I'm feel? I really had time to fuck all day. <laughs> That's why, because you should be out getting money. <laughs> if you listen, hold on. If you got a man that can afford to fuck all day, you got the wrong nigga. He a broke nigga. Excuse me, broke man. You got the wrong guy. Okay. If you can afford to lay around and have sex all day. I want to be weak. I want to be weak as a lamb myself. Yeah, I'm just saying. I want to be drained. Once in two, three times. Weak as a lamb. Can't even do nothing. Just weak. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't Drain no me way. out, baby. Ain't no oh way. God. You, I mean, let's see some. Whatever, everybody tuning in. I see y'all. Cryptocurrency guru or something like that. <laughs> then I get you. But if you can afford to lay around 2021, where everything is on your phone, if you can afford to lay around. And fuck all that. Shout out to you, baby. Female, you, my you can't be mad. Nobody but your damn self. And your child will have your last name. Ha. Huh. <laughs> We're going to revisit that one. Huh? We're going to revisit that one, okay? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. You said you been live, so I can tell them about this tournament. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about the tournament. So, again, Carolina Plug on August 21st is the day that I have set. I'm working with the refs now to get some really, really good ones. But uh, August 21st, Carolina Plug's first official uh, one-day tournament. Um, it would be anywhere from 3 to 350 a team. You're scheduled to win anywhere from fifteen hundred to two bands. The set, it will be set. The flyer will be made. Three to three fifty a team scheduled to win fifteen hundred to two bands. It's a one day tournament, eight to eight. See. Referees will be it? there. It's going to be in Benson, North Carolina. Carolina plugs first division. If it's if it if it goes down like I need it to, it will be every year. It be annual. So, and the price will go up every year. Every time I have it, the price will go up. Because this is not about me. This is just more about the, me representing and trying to give back to the community. There will be concessions. There will be food. It might be $5 per adult, free children, all day, um, one-time pay. But from 8, p- 8 a.m. to about 8 p.m., I'm going to have this tournament for the best ball. If you can hoop and you want to win some money and you feel like you're the best, Come on out here and get this money, and I and we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Keep doing it. All right, all right, all right. Well, Sounds people, good. hey, if you feel like you got that game, come on out there and, and, and get it in. Benson, North Carolina, August twenty first. Carolina Plus first eventual. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Also, we're gonna talk next up. We're gonna talk about that. Well, with the doctor Dre situation, obviously we, we feel like she's winning. <laughs> <laughs> With 300 G's a butt So shout but out you to your got, sister. You fail to mention her says until she finds another man die. Till she remarries. Oh, remarries. Get into something. And not till she finds another man. She can date who she want to date. Till she remarries. She will never get into a domestic yet. partnership, which means move in with somebody oh. or he die. How? So you ain't moving with me? Hell no. Sound like they need to order a hit, man. Yeah, stay your ass where you at. <laughs> <laughs> now, for no 300K, I'm, I'm worth a billion. Trust you, you can get that, baby. You really love this one. You can you have you that, baby. And you really provide a good life. She don't need you for that. She got 300,000 coming every month. Yeah, she don't need nothing. But you, ain't nothing you can do for her that she can't do for herself. So. Damn, she winning. Shout out to you. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not with you. We together, though. Yeah. Married. Yeah. You got $500,000 you going to give me? I got $300,000 coming. Every first. Court order. 
<laughs> on the regular. Yeah. Without so do nothing. Coming, Without baby. do nothing. Just wake up. It's, it's in there. For it. And, then, <laughs> and then it said it got to be there on the first. So it, it ain't on the second. Nah, on the it first. Be a, yeah. And, and direct deposit. Don't forget about the thirtieth. Yeah. Lump sum too. <laughs> Lump sum in there. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah, leap year and all. That got me feeling yeah. good. Hell, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I will never marry again. You that guala that make them wanna holla. Baby, I'ma holla for you. Can you make some more of them albums you made in 2000? Hey. What what little boosie say? Two red bones kissing the back seat. Baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're gonna talk about this Michael Blacks and shout out Michael Blacks. Yeah. Well, he didn't do that. Uh, he, he been uh dating this. Asian, is she Asian? Oh, did she? okay, okay. I don't know what I don't know what uh, know, she is. I, She's I older, I guess. But is. even dating her, or whatever. If you, if she, if there was on a little couple show they had on VH1 together, mm-hmm. and she was upset about the side chicks. Yes, because he apparently the side pieces. He apparently has ever say he do his thing. You know, he like variety. Hey, I ain't mad at the brother. Keep it up front. If you, if you, hey, he keeps it real. If you can, you can have variety. Yeah, that's the agreement y'all can have. You know, she, some people felt the type of way about it. Of course, everybody got an opinion. Y'all right. charge charging $40. Uh, God, not the $40. Mm-hmm. Damn, hold yeah, up, boy. Hold Let me check my funds. My cash app, hold yeah. up, boy. I got a couple dollars on my cash app. That's not your shit. Hey, uh, <laughs> that's great. No chase. Now, hey, drop your cash app, ladies. Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently, now he, he proposed to her. They about to get married now. So it, it, before she was complaining on the show, she was complaining though about the side chicks. She don't want no more side chicks and da da da. He like I ain't giving them the side chicks. It is what it is. I'm getting that monkey. Fuck that. It's there. I'm getting it. Yes, it is what it is. It, it's so so when he gave, they got proposed. When he gave, uh, when he proposed to her and she accepted, she yells out, uh, "No more side chicks." But then he came back and said that she agreed that he can have one side chick at a time. <laughs> A one side chick a month. She got to agree to it. That's what it sounds like. Believe me. So, I got you know I got the exact for you. Mike, but man, shout out. So, to you, man. shout out Michael Black. So you Even winning, baby. Afford to live like that, man. I'm not saying. Listen, God. Yeah, one side terrible. chick a month. This is not. That's what it's down to. Terrible. Yeah, sure but I'm saying. So, at least she understands. Yeah, it's down to one side chick a month. So how y'all feel about that? She don't understand. How y'all feel about that? He, she, she allows him to have her, she, she her fiance okay, and, to have and, and, one and, side chick a month. And that's where it goes at. She allows. So that those two words right there lets me know that she's looking for control. If she can't control the situation, she not agreeing. I know a motherfucker right now in Carolina that's the same way. You feel me? I feel like most women that seek control is insecure because at the end of the day, it, it's like this right here. If it ain't about me, then if it's going to be about another woman... I have to say, I have to say so over it. But bitch, you really don't got to say so over it because at the end of the day, if you gonna fuck her, he gonna fuck her. He just putting you in it to spare your emotions. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about oh, that's it. That's how you feel. That's what it is. So you say it turns. So you can't want the team not cheating no more. That's it's, what it is. It's no longer cheating if she knows. Right, but at the, at the end oh. of the day, if you open yourself up to that, then you got to be prepared for what comes with that. My grandmother always told me, "Don't start something you can't finish." You start out how you can hold out. So mama always told me. Fact. So <laughs> if if you if you say I'm open to him having a side chick once a month, well, what if he don't? What if her pussy good? What if her? What if she sucking your dick from the back? That's you feel to, me? That's supposed to turn no, down. No, I'm just saying, no break. Blowing on the dick, okay? A little tongue in the booty. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, no tongue in the booty. I'm <laughs> just saying. What is she doing out there? Hit, hit, hit him, him on the tank. And the next month the come, and he's not ready to switch. I ain't never coming home again. Wait, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> Number changed and all. Hold on, hold on. He said, I mean, listen, I'm supposed to come home. I'm supposed to go out there and what I'm supposed to do it can bring my ass home. That's what it means. But what? But most it women know. how good that's She's saying, if you're like eating that, your ass, blowing your mind, you're right. going to want to come home, she said. You're going to want to come home. But most women like that want to do threesomes. <laughs> they want to have some, like, oh, yeah, she ate my pussy. So he fucked her. <laughs> the dick was still good to her. She, and one thing about a woman when it come to women, if I say I'm never fuck, I'm never not gonna fuck with you, that's what the fuck it mean. I don't give a damn about your baby mama, your Waukesha. The moment you hit me up, I'm gonna fuck you. That's just what it is. You gotta know who you're dealing with. I'm I'm gonna hush, but I'm just saying, she, she the ball is not in her court. He making her feel that way, but it's only temporary. Cause it's clear that he gonna fuck who he wanna fuck. He just spreading your feelings. I love it, Mike. Do your thing, baby. I love Shout it out too. to you. Yes, sir, Blake. Come. You winning, my Look. dog. You gotta be slinging some wood. Cause she ain't left. Or some tongue. 
It's okay. It's a, we all open. I don't give a damn what you're slinging, and I ain't getting <laughs> tell that what you're you just slinging. Is. I like your comedy, but that's all I'm, that's all I'm, I'm inter- interested in. <laughs> Believe me, that's the new biggest thing right now. Is that what it is? Do you do, would you be in the polygamous or how you say oh, it properly? Man, subscribe to our YouTube Get channel, Straight right, Face with Jesse Mitchell, baby. Right. I need 300,000 Until You want to see the full episodes You got to subscribe That's all we can see The full episodes Until I get with somebody else On Spotify Apple Podcasts And Instagram well, What is this The Instagram You, you already know that But yeah subscribe To YouTube my baby. Subscribe. And my crying When you fucking This other bitch Then no I can't do polygamy $300,000 <laughs> I know somebody That'll sell for $300 In, in a Happy Meal <laughs> <laughs> Not three hundred in a happy meal. Three dollars. Oh God! I want that pussy. <laughs> he want that three hundred thousand dollar pussy. I don't. I can't afford that. Right <laughs> I can't give it. I can't give it three hundred thousand. So I can't give it a three thousand. I can't give it three hundred thousand. I just need an agreement, Yo, a free honest, agreement bro. that if you may have a good time. It's worth three hundred thousand. <laughs> Keep it away from the plug. You gonna disconnect my whole life. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no Carolina plug no more. For so, it's gonna be her plug. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, you better be able to put that prenup in, in order. You will sign the prenup. <laughs> the prenup. So I guess Dr. Dre didn't. Straight no chase. Ah, well, I don't know if he signed that. That might, might have been the uh, the parameters yeah, of the uh, prenup. You never know. Okay, give it the same. You only give it. So you you only never know. You know, like all prenup people people think when they hear prenup, that immediately you means the woman shit. ain't getting no that. money. No, that don't mean no that no, because it, you you can work out stipulation to the prenup. You'll get this amount of money. That will give you that type of money. It. Yeah. Best believe it's gonna be the bare minimum, baby. It's gonna be what I can afford. Well, hold on, I'm looking at it different. Doctor Dre, if you actually did that, man, shout out to you. Man. Shout out to Doctor Dre. She a fucking legend. Shout out. Hey, to you. Come on, man. <laughs> you made it to where even if she damn could. Dre is that dude. Obviously, I guess you feel like she ain't never he got the beat. He's the goat. You, you know she ain't going to leave the beats, but he's the goat. You made it to where even if she don't leave you, you still give her the money. You know she ain't going nowhere. I'm so. Man, let me hush. She ain't going nowhere. They ain't going to go hard. I've been going hard on straight on Chase all night. Listen. She ain't going you, nowhere. You, you hearing this shit from a real ass woman. Huh. This man giving me $300,000. Baby, I'm fucking sucking and ducking. Okay? A month. That's a month. A month. It's on deck. Yeah, he come through. You know he want to come through. He probably slide he through. Get this. No I negotiation. It. I need it. No negotiation. But yeah, she getting the money regardless. It's court order, and, and right. they know you got it. So it's not new shit. Twenty nine days. But you, I, 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 would, I would do the shit. I'd be scared for my life. I'll bust that bitch over just cause. <laughs> you might send a motherfucker to get me. Hell yeah, we fucking on the first. Matter of fact, we fucking on the thirty first, just so we can be clear. <laughs> Baby, we the pussy at? is on. Sh- the pussy is on ice. Okay, <laughs> it's ready for you. Three hundred thousand dollars <laughs> worth of pussy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Pay that three hundred thousand. I'm with the polygamy for the three hundred thousand. It's gotta be three hundred. <laughs> it can't be. It's gotta be three hundred. I'm trying to enter. I'm trying to enter into the agreement. Six of them. I need it. Six figures. Three hundred thousand. I stay over here with Johnson Johnson. I guess you will. <laughs> the Carolina plug said that mm, fresh yeah. on the set. Yeah, I'm hey, listen, I love my duck is more God, than not, not a tight grip. Yeah. Hey, God. Hey, it's three hundred K not the grip. <laughs> it's choking it to death over there. I the... can't plug everybody <laughs> in if I ain't got no funds. The veins popping all out his hand arm over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's strong as hell. Strong as hell. <laughs> You need me to lift something, I got it. Uh, hey, we're going to take a break on that, y'all. <laughs> it's not often that I let hands touch me, but when I do, I'm touched by me. And that's straight, no chase. This episode of Straight No Chase was brought to you in part by Touched By Me Massage Therapy. To book your appointment, dial 910-359-2873. It's your time to relax. Welcome back, everyone. We're back, and now we're going to get into... Um... <laughs> you say you laugh? I can't. I can't. I try to be serious, y'all. The formal, the formal. She won't ever be serious with y'all. Okay, y'all, so okay, we're going to get to... Apparently, Atlanta they made uh, July twenty second Kanye West Day officially. Damn. Okay, shout out to Kanye. Now, last night he uh, he he filled out the Mercedes Benz Stadium. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. As the city of Atlanta filled the Mercedes-Benz Stadium last night to capacity for Kanye West's Donda listening yes. party. I, I didn't see the album come out, so I don't know. I'm looking on Apple Music. It's I'm like, now. is it out on Apple Music? He's is it goat. on Tidal? Like, I don't goat. know. He sold He's out. He's the but goat. If it's sold out, not the goat. goat. Think about it. He making you want it. You can't get it. Ah! Now he's the goat. I ain't, yeah, yeah, like the I'm goat. Off marketing. I like Kanye. Shout out to Kanye. You know, but <laughs> y'all, 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 he, his, y'all take his genius and y'all run with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, production. Or you can say idiot, idiot or, 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 or idiocy or whatever. Let me say idiot. idiosyncrasy. Yeah. Or, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying yeah. he's a genius. Okay. But y'all take that and y'all correlate that to him being a great rapper. I didn't say that. Now you talk your I shit. I did not say that. And you speak your facts. You know I mean? like, like, I say go to, go to marketing only. No, 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 he is. He's, he's, he's a master marketer. Wait, market. didn't he convert over? Convert over to Christianity. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So isn't he doing gospel music? I don't think Don does. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's Kanye. I don't think God. Don That's what makes it so. You see my hands? I have no. That's what Kanye is. You're gonna take a shot. It's a question mark. Kanye. Question. And that's why it's not available. Absolutely. He had he had a listening party last night. It was supposed to came out yesterday. Right. Back backstage before the show, Ye was given incredible honor from the city where he was born. As he was preparing to premiere his new album, Kanye West was honored by Atlanta city officials who formally declared that from now on, July twenty second is Kanye West Day in the city. Wow. So shout out to Kanye. You know you got your own day. Yes. That's positive. You know, a black man got his own day. In especially Atlanta. in Georgia. Okay, then. Come on, now. That's that's something song. big in itself. Huge. Yeah, I mean, but damn it, we want the album, God damn it, Kanye. Shit, I want the music. It? Got it. Where is the material? But see, you see how we want it? Yeah. He, he, I'll he's he's Kanye. Yeah, he's genius. What are you it. talking about? How we want it? You're going to want make it regardless. It's Kanye. Make me want it. Do you know the last time the Atlanta Falcons packed out their own stadium? Shit. And I'm a Falcon fan. Probably in the, uh, when they played the Super, when the, the Super Bowls played there when they wasn't okay. even there. But this <laughs> man album packed it out. He speaking some... He owns some shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's Kanye. He's a legend. Oh, what are you talking about? And he won't, I'm talking about within a week. It didn't say anything. Within a week. It didn't say nothing. The he entire time. Had a, he had a face. Wow. He, he had a face mask. Didn't say anything. Had a mask on. He had a mask on. And he got a point to prove. <laughs> didn't say nothing. He got a point to Display prove. Displayed the news. Just, just, just play it down. No, so all these people paid money. My friend ready. is alone. <laughs> to, to listen to the album one time. You have to pay me. You can't take that. You can't leave. Now, you can't listen to it in the car when you leave. Now. No, because it's not out. No. So you got to listen to it in the stadium. Everybody who heard it in here today, that ticket yeah. is worth money. You, unless you recorded it. Unless you was recording the, while you was in there. Then that might be his own pros and cons to that shit, you know? Hey. Who's the goat? What pros and cons? I got, I got the music. You can't, you can't sell it in that way. I can listen to it. Yeah, you. you, you who's the goat? So when he finally release it, everybody's gonna run. Now he's the goat. Come on, man. that's what I'm telling y'all. Run with it. Y'all throw that goat term around. Y'all throw that term around too loosely, man. A marketing loosely. You can't tell me Andy King is a goat on marketing. Name me some other he artist. He said marketing. He didn't say music. Forget his music. Yeah, he packed the stadium out. Hold on. No, let's not forget his music. But I'm saying. Yes. Within seven days, he packed out a stadium for an album that nobody heard. Welcome just to the good the life. the fact that nobody wanted It's the unknown factor of Kanye that is so appealing. Now, I would love to pack out a that stadium is, without yeah, saying yeah, shit well, without a face mask on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, like, once you get established that, that status, they're going to buy your music just because it's you where they hear it now. Correct. You got to make it just because it's you. Now, you said something. <laughs> They gonna buy that shit off your name alone. Yeah, this shit can be whack. That's why. Yeah, that's why you still can go platinum the because everybody's waiting on. They're gonna buy it here. They don't know it's whack. They, they don't talk shit about you, but they heard them bought it. Exactly. It was no. supposed to come out today. It was. Out. It was. And he held it again. Held it again. I love it. Now everybody's salivating at the mouth. Had right. the mouth set for it. Now they salivate. Great. I love it. Trash. I love it. And but guess what? They still gonna look for it. They gonna buy it. Just like Easy said <laughs> when, they was, when they was all stepping on your CDs and shit. Yeah, they paid for them. Hey, how many of y'all bought them ugly shoes? I got I mean, y'all got six pairs. I like these. The wait, there I like the Hold on. I like these. Hold on. Yeah, Let me say in particular which ones I'm talking about. Okay. Be clear. <laughs> you got ones that look like, honestly, I don't even know the number of the series, but I don't even think it's a shoe. It's enough space in the shoe to look like a flip flop, but it is not. And you know what? You know it's freaking shoe. You right? I am referring to. Have you ever worn and one of those? I don't care. A Yeezy pair. No, I have. No, no, no. You're not referring. I have Yeezy. Okay. I'm talking about this particular spaceship shoe. looking. You know which ones I'm talking oh, yeah, yeah. about. If you have that shoe, you're the lamest person on this earth. Ah. Kanye West produced that shoe for people just to say, I have this shoe. That is the ugliest I shoe think, but I have ever seen. Listen, you can't wear it with socks. You can't wear 
There's nothing you can put on that to make it drip. But he's made it clear, and this is my thing. The thing I love about the whole thing is clearly you said it. You don't like it, but motherfuckers is buying it, right? Just say yes. Yes, yes no. absolutely. Okay. So with that being said, whether the music is out or not, they still fucking showed up at the stadium. Yes or no? That's kind he of. He got a point to prove to y'all, <laughs> America. <laughs> I don't give a fuck Whoa. if I don't say Whoa. shit. My presence alone and my name is alone is going to get me money. And that's just what it is. He's I shit. I want he's that. He's the richest person in hip hop. Yeah. That, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> They're going to buy yeah, it. Yes, his presence. You think he's the richest right. person in hip hop. And with that being said, shit, I'm trying to get on your level. That's all I'm saying. This man can wear water <laughs> balloons and wear by him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, he can wear water it's balloon kind of pants. Of well, well, so I don't even question. We're going to say they're ugly. But next week, we're going to see somebody went on with the pants. And we're going right. to And they're going to say, Yeezys. Huh? Are you going to mess with the Yeezys? He ain't got a punk group. That's right. I like his music. I like his beats. Yeah. His beats are dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, of it, some of his balls are cool, but... <laughs> Not good. Cool. <laughs> he, got some, he, got some, he got some clever lines. Some of he's clever. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But I ain't is been the biggest. Think it's too clever for the uh, for the average ear. It's too clever. Nah, I wouldn't say that. But I mean, you know, he's, complex. Like he spent some bars. Like he got some bars. Like like on his first album when he said he drive mayonnaise because of cars. He pushed miracle whips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, like that. okay. I was like okay. <laughs> his kid is yeah okay. He yeah he got he got a little something with him. Man, car, so my man, my man Jerry. Shout out Alexis. Jerry McKinnon. My f- shout out fam. He used to love him. Could what? Couldn't. And then we used to go shoot ball together. He used to be the fucking driver. So I had to hear this shit every fucking time. <laughs> every fucking time. Yo, son, this is that shit. I'm telling you, this shit go hard, yo. I got to hear this shit. All the way to fucking to the gym and back. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. What did he say? Did he say Nick couldn't afford a car, so he named his daughter Alexis? Ooh. Yeah, no, like he, said, I love he said some clever shit. Now. Shit like that make a real motherfucker wet. I love that shit. What he will say, say some clever shit. No. What you say? You couldn't put a car so seat named Dylan Lexus. I love it. Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> say no more. Fire. I respect the struggle. Fire. Say no more. <laughs> hey Kanye, man. I love it. Shout out to Kanye. West. The crazier you get, the better it is. Yes, July 22nd is your day, baby. We ain't gonna take that away from you. In Atlanta, Georgia. I ATL thought you, showed him. I thought you was he from made Chicago. it clear in Atlanta. I thought you was from Chicago. Yeah. Ah, I thought he was from the shower too. They told me he's home. He from Atlanta. But, I guess. Hey, sometimes uh, you got to go out the city to get love. Motherfuckers in your own city. Don't you show you love? Jewel, Jewel drop. That is a great point. I sure thought he was from Chicago. Jewel, Jewel. I could have sworn he was from the city of Shaw. Yes, he, he, he just did. Did Kanye just, just did Kanye just do what he wanted to do and just say forget your guy and I'm gonna do it in Atlanta? It's not even that. Like I said before, <laughs> most people most people won't honor you in your own city. They don't got. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't respect you. They trying to get a name for themselves. Sometimes you gotta go off the grid to got them or to another state to get that respect. Most, his most own people name. do. Most people for the listen. The people you grew up with in middle school, you, when you create, I, I, this is I am self proof of this. Everybody I went to high school with, I went to Terry Sanford High School. Every person I went to high school with, it's only five people who bought a shirt. I moved to Johnson County, and I can move over 200, 300 shirts in three weeks. Please explain to me that. Y'all care more about what you think you know about me than the new, than the person hey, I am. You I'm from Fanville, y'all. <laughs> well, I'm not going to support you because I don't want you being no bigger than me. Oh, man, I'm saying you can bring it with you, though. Facts. We, 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 we only crabs because we think that way. We can pull each other out if don't nobody make it, how we gonna make it? Oh, born in Atlanta, raised in Chicago. That's what it said. Yeah. Oh man, excuse Damn. me, Kanye. Mm-hmm. We love. I don't give a fuck. We love you. Yeah, all the good music yeah. come from Atlanta, Georgia. Shit, good yo, yo, Georgia. country. I'm trying to find a thing about the Lumberton Honda thing, but I can't find it to see. Oh, I know about it. Talk about it. The Lumberton. The Somebody Lumber called. They, called, they, called, they, they said something about Miss Bethune. They posted. They posted. They posted they talking about Miss Bonquisha. And, and, yeah. and why would you even play about some shit? Say, like uh, Bonquisha. Yeah, she uh went and brought a car from the dealership, and then they posted on Facebook talking about Bonquisha. Congratulations to Bonquisha and her 2016 Toyota Camry. That's crazy. And her name is what? It, it ain't Bonquisha. Her last name is just for them. But then, Man, you, had you, say, but then you had to say the you know 2016. You Good. That's the damn Otis Redding from the Otis Redding song first, first on the holidays. All, first of all, Bonquisha. Yeah. I love it. It's all right. Uh, uh, two two dollar eggs and that cranberry. I need to wait all day for to go to work. Good. 
And he's an alternate for to go to work. Yeah. Like the alternate is for. that defamation of character? My thing is, it don't. Yeah, it don't slander. Fucking, yeah, and, and everything else that come along with it. You talking about a fucking Honda? You talking about? So she went off. The lady went off or what? Well, I didn't read the article. No, but I did see a couple of my friends. I mean, come on, this is what Lumberton, North Carolina. So you know, it's it's definitely she was just close. Had, she just had a New York. I had a couple scene. of my friends. Don't know what happened to it. I had a couple of my friends ready to pull the fuck up. Just just the protest and do ready some to pull type up. of. Do some type of protest or whatever, but honestly, I feel like it's it's very unprofessional. Why would they think that was appropriate to call her bullshit? Right. I feel like it's very why, unprofessional. Why would they call her bullshit? What guy especially, especially in a time like this. But well, it is in Lumberton, though. So. Did Ty post it or did Blake post it? Especially in a time like this. I don't like know, this. but it's in Lumberton, so. Especially in a time like this, like it's not right and it's certainly not fair and it's unacceptable. Period. And then for you to call out the year of her car, we don't give a fuck if it's a 2003. She purchased the vehicle on her own. Bonquisha? Bonquisha. 2016. 16. Yeah, Honda, whatever, but. Totally unacceptable. I would never I purchase know. a vehicle on that facility. I would love to know. That's bananas. Sean Lemay would have to say about this. He yeah. loves South Carolina. That's bananas. Lumberton. He would have something good to say about Charlemagne. this. Charlemagne. Charlemagne would have something sweet to oh, say yeah. about this. It's right here up his alley. <laughs> Charlemagne cool, but I mean, I, Char- Charlemagne he he does he he likes to he likes to to, to dab that, that little seed and then then back off. I don't like that. He got into book like, writing. Did he stand by? Yeah, but he don't stand by. He don't stand on his word. Like Charlemagne, you, you say things and then when people press you on it, you try to backpedal. I don't, I don't straight, no that. chance. Yeah, I, I, that's why. I, yeah, I create straight. I'm gonna keep it real. If I say it behind your back, if I say it about you, when you come see me, I can say it to your face. Oh, yeah. And I didn't see, I didn't see him catch press, y'all, the man. He backpedaled. Well, I'm the radio guy. You still said that slick shit, though. Right. I don't give a fuck what your occupation is. What the fuck your job you is, said, nigga. What the fuck you you said that slick shit, nigga. Now I'm pressing you about it. And you want to be like, oh, well, I was just, I'm just doing my job. What well, Birdman say? Put some you had to say that. On my name. Yeah, but Birdman, a couple other cats, too, impressed up on him. And I'm like, and then he want to fall back on, well, I'm just the radio guy. Yeah, but nigga, you still a regular dude. And you still saying this slick shit about me. I'm a person. So when I press your ass about, I don't want to hear about yeah, it. I, what, what's your job? Stand, stand behind what the fuck you said. Don't backpedal now. When you was talking slick, you was in there with envy and Angelique. By yourself. When you was comfortable, then yeah, you was saying all this. You was it was real talk. Then you was making jokes and everybody was laughing. Now when these cats press you, now it's oh, where well, they like that? Yeah, it was like that when you made a clown out of me. Like come on, now. and that's what I don't like that he does. But I mean, he does a lot of stuff and good stuff for the people in the community and stuff. He got his books and stuff. You know what I mean? So yes. shout out to Charlamagne. Yes. Yes. I don't have a problem with Charlamagne. Well, we Absolutely. Fuck that fuck shit. I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with that. And I don't Absolutely. like that. But we're going to end it on that note. Thank you for always, always for tuning in to Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell. I am the innovator, the emancipator, the originator, Jesse Mitchell. It's my co host, Angela. Angel. Yes, B. Angel. I'm about to call her, An- I'm about to call her Angela Yee. I'm talking about Angela Yee. Shout out, Angela Yee. Also, Carolina Plug, appreciate my Yo, man for coming through. I appreciate y'all for letting me come through. Oh, no doubt. Sorry Carolina about Plug, being baby. late. And actually, man, I'm going to set my schedule for another one of these because. Oh, Devin, we're gonna I'm definitely, we're going to bring you back on in. This, man. I appreciate it. Hopefully, my next time I might have a little bit more energy. It was the first time for me, but I appreciate this. This is huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, you know, definitely, definitely. Next week, we got some people coming in. We got some big things uh, planned. So stay Talk tuned. You know what I mean? Let me drop my tags again. Carolina Plug. On Instagram, is Carolina underscore plug underscore merch. That's the same thing on Facebook. And we also have a kennel, Carolina Plug Kennel. So if you're looking for any kind of dogs from, from uh, Frenchies to Bullies, we are registered. Tap on in. So we're not only a merch, and now we also do basketball tournaments, man. Yeah. You know it, I, I'm trying to do it all. Okay, to be okay. Honest with you, man. Hey, you know. Positive. Carolina Plug is trying to plug on into it. It's always positive about the people. You already know that. You already know. Subscribe to our YouTube. Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell. We on Spotify, Instagram, and Apple Podcasts. Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell. Uh, Stay tuned, baby. How you do that, Dale? Plug on. <laughs> How you do that, Dale? <laughs> this episode of Straight No Chase was brought to you in part by Big Chief's Food Truck. To order your plate or book for your next large event, dial 910-224-7248.